They're just sort of under leveled right now. Yeah, but they gotta catch no one. No one. He doesn't have a mech either. And there is just nothing Vega Squadron can do about this kind of overwhelming force. Samus Slayer's gonna try and respond. A three man hold from that static storm. Now the Fiends grip on the moon, make sure oh, he's got the vacuum right back into that static storm. OG, you're not escaping from this one. They're gonna chase down Fly, glimpse back Miracle, and that's gonna be four. Was it worth it for the no one SF? I don't think so. Emma? Is that gonna be uh, a Yeah, this could be a big one. Samal Laguna Blade. That's a quick pick. The relocate came in from TJ and Black, but this one actually put them in more trouble because Sarteezy on bottom lane, he's going to wind up the Requiem. No, he's waiting for them all as the relocate. It's only going to be DJ now, Sarteezy. Boom! Okay, Ethereal Bean, be no more. <laughs> that was really good timing from Sarteezy on that. He might practice a hell of a lot and still just not be as good as DJ on this hero because yep. DJ plays incredibly well and it is very fundamentally different from heroes Musha generally plays and uh, it's for me it's a strength if their team can just swap around like this uh, on specific heroes if, if they find the need to do it oh universe this is really really bad if this happens he can't let this happen this he can't let this happen Head is down, Universe, he's trapped up here with a whole bunch of mangoes, but... Uh, a sore head, but... Oh my god, they're actually gonna go for this, I'm on no-tail, he has his ultimate, he just got the oh, Agatha, this dude. is gonna be big! Miracle setting up for the ultimate, they need to be able to Where's come the on this one, right in the middle, Winter's Curse, on to Noah, can they actually kill this one, the Switcher Blast being laid out, Scoba on the side, it's gonna deal on so much damage, Vega Squadron just falling apart, the damage over time is too much for them to handle, Pasha, turn around, throws out the dagger on Miracle, thinking for about going for that kill, but doesn't quite have enough HP, and wants to make sure he gets out alive, it's gonna be Mag, who challenges Miracle, but turn around from Moon, make sure that he doesn't get away. Four heroes down for Vega Squatch, and all they lost was the sacrificial no tail entering into that fight. Yeah, I think they probably were looking at it and going, okay, we'll force a rotation up to the top lane, and then we'll. Oh, God. Oh. Pasha moving forward, they found themselves a double kill on Mag, and they might be able to get themselves more. Pasha, he's trying to find Burning, and there's the cooldown, the slow, will it connect? Yes, it will. Gets him just on the tip, Mag goes for it. It's a triple kill for the little purple man. They can't kill RTZ, I think. No, they oh, they're can't. They're gonna try. Oh, they're gonna cock him up, but the battery's stopped. But RTZ's got his son available. Mushi, Vizra available. That's gonna come in. They go for the purge as well as the catch up with the poison. RTZ, they're still trying to work through this chemical Jeez, race. But RTZ, disruption. The fidget's on the wrong side. They're keeping the poison up. Now Samal's gonna come and join the fight with a huge crash from Universe. Three heroes locked with a whirling death. Fanatic, they are falling apart. The seams. Game one, we thought there was a hope. But right now, the hope has been lost if you're a fanatic fan. You've still got RTZ with 100 life hanging around. Black's gonna drop as well. He tried to come in the fight. The amplification, they'll shrug it off at Universe with just one last attack. Well, CTY. Oh, okay, yeah, he's gonna go on the TA he's got here. BKB to the demon check his item. This is really deep here. Okay, he took a lot of damage. And though. there's a snowball that's gonna be even deeper, but the BKB's pop, they just turn on to old 11. That was an incredibly deep <laughs> dive. And they're looking for more, straight onto the Viper. The Ice Blast is gonna be there, but it doesn't even matter. Aegis will be popped. And this was some real aggression from Ehome, and I think they're gonna get punished for it. Crush up to Lanham, CT is still trying to fight, but there's the cooldown, and it's gonna be huge for oh, Goku. On to four, and he moves forward. There's two down Ehome. You should make that three, because Lanham's gonna fall as well. CTY just trying to get himself the hell out of there. Dazzle graved himself and TP'd out. But in a moment, the damage. oh, double kill for oh Io. Oh my god, they're gonna do it. Oh. I mean, any pick off they can get, Jesse, but he is gonna have that. Grease to remove the silence, and oh, here we go. Shackle comes out first, though. You can't remove that, buddy, Jim, and the, the Death War's gonna make work at that. There'll be a crush onto S4, so they did find a kill here, Alliance, bringing it to 317. So it's something, it's something, but Maneski, they're not happy. Their Jim is a brief rustle, they wanna fight. S4 throws out the Shackle, gets it onto Ryo. Lotus there as well. Can they kill the Slardar? That's a big kill if they can, and they can. Slardar's gonna go down. This might be it for Alliance, but Cuckoo, he's finally turned up. He takes now on the Nature's Prophet. Quite incredible, has to get himself out, but this maybe is the thing. The cast from uh, bouncing from Ake. Kuka's gonna get held in place here. The Sonic Wave comes through. It's gonna be worth raging potato. Sonic Wave is his own team. It's not a heal, it's a damaging spell, you fool. And now Huska, he's still gonna be there. It doesn't matter though, they missed the Sonic Wave. It's still a clean up for Kuku. He's found himself a triple kill. Nuts should go down as well here in the pit. Jules will finish that one off. So Alliance, even though they find some kills, it's still not great. S4 is still alive with the focus fire onto Cuckoo. Bulldog coming back in with the Sprout. There's your Orchid. Can they kill him? The toggle's there. Jules throws down the shallow grave. Now they'll turn. They'll look for Bulldog here in the pit. He's trying to turn and fight Cuckoo. S4, can he do it? Can he do it? I don't know if he can. He's trying his best here. Bless him, but the heels are there. Cuckoo with the arm and toppling. S4 goes down. It's a double kill for Cuckoo. This man's a monster.
Uh, he's gonna get chased down he's by the gonna... Almost. Oh, he Radiant's guessed wrong, awesome. but he's just gonna go for the rune. Yes. Top lane, now they go on the Darkseer. Middle surge, he's gonna throw out that wall. Support is TPing in. He's the Fiends so could take Darkseer here. And SC, well, he may not have the ulti, but he's already looking to go in. Initiating onto Eternal Levy. The physical damage will be enough. One more attack. Misses him around the tree line. Eternal Levy trying to juke left and right. The Iron Shell's arriving too. He had time to get the magic wand off, but it's a blink in two sec, three seconds time with the scream. SC wants to walk for it. They'll send in the Darkseer illusion Darkseer. anyway. And there's your blink. Can't get the screen. Oh, he's getting up double but with the spirit. Yeah. Nessie can't finish the job. Eternal Envy will be able to survive the tower giving the extra damage, and Weeha bringing in the support DPS. You've got MR coming in from behind. He can fissure in, catching out to the rocket gives the vision, so SC knows what he's up against. They know Eternal Envy doesn't have that ultimate either. Wait for it. The spine carapace is up from Jackie, and now the hot shot in! Agassi balls in the hand of Quinny Pay with the Echo Slam! Carving apart Seeker! SC standing his ground! It's a double kill right now for the clockwork! And SC no more! No more, please! The heart cannot take it! Mostly physical, Dazzle's physical, Shadow Fiend's a mix. I think it's a good idea. Relocate out, MMY saves just in time before Pilot Eye can get the uh, the disable. Are they actually going to fight around this? LGD are teeping in, ROTK is going to make the initiation here. Looks like they're going to bring the Chaos Knight Wiz back to fold here. Eternal Envy going to be the first one targeted. The Wiz actually comes alone by himself, but oh, jumps on off. ROTK. The ultimate comes out from AB, but it's still not enough to eliminate Eternal Envy. The Miner's Armor is oh, taking it down, heals. but he's got the heals. And now, oh, it's Doom on maybe. He's never going to be able to get away from this. He's just trying to get some damage out, but even his death animation is not going to be enough to get a kill. Slardar, nice stop there from Misery, but LGD have already called it. They know this game is over. They were fighting for scraps. All all game long after that six man wipe in the middle lane. Oh, and it's on a rampage for Weeha. Obviously, got punished very hard in game one. I want that gym back. <laughs> oh, MMY is foraging, but that fail is gonna really hurt. Nice blast. <laughs> Go splash. Nice pick up there. Silo's gonna turn, tries to engage on the Ritsu. Needs a little backup. Where's that Templar assassin? The quad bolt committed. ROTK still has the echo ready. Blink's about to cool down. He wants to use it very badly. Look for the slam. Doesn't even need it. Maybe he's too busy. He's too fast. Just diving as deeper and deeper. Okay, okay. that side blade kill. was disgusting. Someone's going to get back in defense. Space created from Ryu. Who's got the TP? Where's your TPs? I don't see any Lina. Shiki doesn't have one. No one's going to TP. Maneski get one lane. They can go mid. They could go through. This could become a quick base race. What's the play, CDEC? The they're the all in. No one's got a TP, Winter. We're going, going for the base no place here, and CDEC do not have the best lineup to damage this one down. Oh, They've got no, the blast. Clear. Slider are going to buy back. They can create space. Aggressive. Buys a oh death slider. He wants to amplify this game? push. They're going for the towers. They're pushing two damn slow. Oh no, this is not looking good for CDC. Maneski going through the second team for Tau. Here comes the first TP. It's going to be the tough, but this is SF with a oh Desolator. Antimage there as well. Maneski are breaking through the base, and it looks like they won a game three. No one else can TP back. Jerocop has finally arrived, but the BKB SF, the Antimage will do it. Maneski! The Filipino hope had forced the game three. What are you going to get out of it? And you need some sort of rebuttal, uh, Oscar. Stunned up, poison stinged up, Misery trying to be aggressive, but that Splinter Blast doing so much damage. The raises from Weeha won't reach, but now with Wyvern Nightmare up, they have two more raises available. There's one, and there's the Dazzle Wave Heal, doing a lot of work for the, oh, the clockwork. Hook shots in, the there's a three-man Fissure. They lock in two inside the comp, Pilot Eyes down, and a triple kill for SC, and the clockwork will mop them up. Four heroes from Seeker and Lost for the price of a Wyvern. Am I gonna SF? go on Ritsu? It's the Glimmer Cape. Still visible underneath the tower, but resistance. Now the cooldown's gonna go to work. Oh, Snowball protection beautiful. actually dodges Laguna Blade. Razor might be doomed up, but there's so much life in him. He'll tank through it all. So the Doom's on the sideline. The Wyvern has to embrace himself. The Mass Serpent wants to back off cooldown and a wonderful position in range of the tower, but more importantly, very close to that melee rack. That was sick from MSS. The Observe Ward on the hillside, they're gonna see PPD too far away. There's that Blink Hex, RTZ caught out, Fear, the Nightmare actually buys RTZ space, goes for the big AZ Stormbolt, he's got the claim! What? He's making her away! I'll go for more! AA will 
will die as well. A triple kill for Atua. With EG being on a wrap around. Okay, they can see the Doombringer and they just charge it. They want to kill off Pasha. And the back three man wall with the curse as well. DG definitely blasting back Vega. They've lost so much. Mag will arrive with a mech, but can he repair the damage which has been done? No, he cannot. Solo's on the run out of here. Samal's got no more control. She's got the Yule Scepter available, but doesn't want to do it while the homing missile's on the tail of Solo. If they glimmer plus cold and brace, yet. Oh, no. maybe he's going back in, finds the shackle, lays into aggressive, splinter blast coming through the charge to interrupt it, the aggressive manages to doppelganger, tries to retreat out, turns to fight on maybe, is he going to be able to find the real one, no he's not, aggressive in a hail of spears, brings him down, and elsewhere, XE continues pursuit, trying to hunt down RTK, they also lost the Rubik, blinking forward, Shiki's going to go for this, looks like the shadow strike might be enough, surging, and juking, LGD. Ags is up on A. They're gonna spot mine. Nice can get the jump and he does turn short and get the shackle, but MSS is there with a the slam. Straight in with a horn. X4 just melt, but he gets the cheese. He eats the cheese, but the winner's curse is there onto him. Nuts is there, beating him down. S4 did get off the BKB, desperately trying to continue the fight. Oh, he gets out. turns up. S4's gonna survive, and Nuts continues with the BKB. Barely learn outside of Clan up, but so is Nuts. It looks like he's gonna go down here. As oh, he's gonna miss this. Power shot gets MSS. S4 finding the first kill, and Nuts is gonna survive. Are you Ball serious? He gets the wall, the vacuum shackle. Oh, to He's stuck to the goddamn tree! He's oh there my as gosh. Well. Alliance lose nothing and take everything from the side of Cloud9! He's pretty much the, the, the talk, hero that's doing the most of it. We go straight in onto DJ. There's the jump forward. Fisher as well. In comes Crit with the balls and they'll try and turn oh, around a little bit. So and they don't make a kill streak for Crit. Fnatic, can they turn? They get the Winter's Curse off onto Miracle. He's going to be able to live through them. Oh, oh, he's not dead. Alive, he's actually keeping him alive. He'll finally go down. So it's a one for one. No telling. This is really good. What's going on? There's your Echo Slap for Moon. Oh, the armor toggle. Well. They're all going to die. Maybe OG oh, will maybe not. No. Miracle with the armor toggle keeps himself oh, alive. Oh, they get him off. It's a team. Wipe against Fnatic. It's gonna be perfect opportunity. Well, hold on. This is gonna be a good opportunity. They catch SD getting the battery cell, trying to prevent that ultimate. SF pops the mech, but he just seems completely wasted. There goes the Sonic Wave. Still, though, Blastric has come in. Winter's Curse getting laid down. He immediately gets focused, gets a decent amount of damage, but it just doesn't seem to be enough for Newbie Young. They might be able to get Old Chicken underneath that tower. Looks like that will be the rest. Radiance top tower. They weren't going to kill Ember Spirit. Yeah, they're trying to waste BKBs. But they just oh, saw three look heroes. That look at that. Slight damage. Yeah, the cleave is too much for Kuga. Paladine probably oh. there. Can they find the right one? There's the Peace Grip. No, but nope. they lose Wrong the roll. They get unlucky again. They don't get the roll. Oh, he's twice, and now he's, he's doing it. He's looking for Paladine. They might oh, get they it. They will. <laughs> so he gets out. Secret try their luck twice. Okay. Uh, they're going to try their luck oh. again. <laughs> oh, th three times unlucky here oh, for the boys. Trouble. Now they'll he, try and move forward. Is he not got double game here for a second? The shackles not going to leave, but the power shots off the mark. We are. Oh Radiance man! VP have just completely disappeared off the map. Yeah, but if they should just give me one to take this fight. Absolutely. To stay on the high ground. Jackal's run. Oh my god, what a long range of one Fenrir. Who get the save? Oh, the three man's nice three initiates with the three man's gun. Winter's curse on the DK Fobos, but who cares? Burning's come forward and just hit the biggest sonic wave of his life. Taking out four. DK Fobos to fall as well. And VP just got it utterly obliviated. Ice, ice, ice. He wants to make the initiation on the G. They know the refraction is burned down. They're going to try and pop immediately. The Laguna Blade goes up and they get the swap. Ice blast over the top of the chain frost is going to bounce around. This may be free BP low, but G, he managed to take burning. We'll take out FY as well. Double crit for him. And he keeps on going. Wants to be able to get super, but another great initiation from Ice locks down too. And there goes the fight. BG Gaming. As long as you don't get hit by the Lucent Beam. Bottom lane, the Nightmare starting on the Earthshaker. There's no Sonic Wave available, but with the Earthshaker, Echo Slam, Old Old Heaven commits so heavily, I think he realized he was going to die anyway, and Pasha blinks into the tree line. Old Eleven with a stun, he'll find the kill. The heal came just in time from Lanham, and now Solo will die as well. Vega committing so hard underneath that tier one tower. They get the vision of, of Rubik though, and maybe they'll, they'll be more inclined to die bottom. Greedy? Still not level six, so close, but yet so far the Ion Shell doing its work. They don't have the double Ion Shell going though, as MMY is going to get stunned. Now chucks it up, but the vision simply isn't there, and Greedy jokes through the cheese, continues to retreat. It looks like he's going to make it away here. It's nighttime, and MMY doesn't have the vision, but he drops the ward for it. Beautiful play from the Wily support. I'll run Greedy down. MMY showing off those veteran instincts once again.
There is a snowball buying some time for Ryo, but he'll still go down there. Fly gets the kill. They're trying to look for more potential, but Cuckoo is there to back up the side. Scream comes out onto two. Look at them diving, though. They found themselves a second kill. OG, they're looking for jewels as well. Cuckoo will take down Miracle, and he might be able to clean up Scream. Double kill for Cuckoo, and now he's going to look for Fly as well. Balling up on the Queen of Pain. Flies on his own. Cuckoo blinks forward, looks to block up the Undying. There's the triple kill as he goes absolutely Cuckoo doodle do. Three kills there for the Queen of Pain, and he is really keeping Maneski in this game. He has all their kills. Chris, <laughs> oh my, God. are you serious? I think he might get it. He's got him. He just needs one more attack. My right. goodness. Seven minutes into the game. Ultra kill for Cuckoo. He has got this invis rune. Is he going to head into the pit? Oh, this could be big just as it's about to expire. He's got the red crew on two. Oh, oh my God. Miracle. That could be the turnaround they need. A Cuckoo's going to come in. It's desperate to try to turn, but oh no. Three Cuckoo from Maneski. And the Roshan will go down to the Radiant. Like while he works on this, you get the completed mech over on the dark scene. And now you have in fact bottom lane blinking over an Admiral Bulldog. There's no score turn up, but at the front they're all he will buy the space to go for the Doom. Can they get the trade off with Laguna but an Admiral Bulldog? He gets one last war stomp. Illidan will tick lower, but he probably won't die from this Doom. FNG's gonna be glimpsed back into nuts, and RK has to nightmare him. FNG's ready to find charge back off cooldown, but the wall is up, so they'll be controlled. S4 running in with that ulti, but can he get in range to really do anything? Lion Strike Array will control him, so will the Dragon Tower. Not the best coupling of abilities. S4 will stick charges up and load up into the fight with the rocket barrage and flat cannon huge amounts of damage now the flat cannon comes back off cooldown they take out three and they'll take out a fourth a triple kill for Lona. score shows it's off cooldown for admiral bulldog and fng charges in he already gets a kill on the front of the back into a big line strike array alliance they may lose everything here the damage from Lona. he's doing terrible damage to god as well it's a triple kill for Lona. an ultra kill little will shut him down as well as putting bulldog in the grave is available and vp what have they really got left fng and Phobos, they're coming in. Phobos, he doesn't really have a lot of mana in the Nightmare. It keeps Spirit Breaker out. This will allow Alliance to finish the job. They don't have Doom available with the homing missile coming forward. The back, he puts two of them on the wall. Admiral Bulldog as well as Loda can't get back down again. RK and Nuts have to hang around. Even the Hellbears up there with them. Alliance playing with pets on a hill. And what can they do? The TP scrolls are flying out in the courier at the moment, but the charge comes in from FNG. Nuts, where's that control? He's actually going to get charged down. The Glimmer Cave can't find him enough space, not while Lil's still holding onto that gem. And Arke also on the run out of here. Loda finally TPing out. So is Admiral Bulldog. There's no secondary interruption, so they do not. Two smokes crossing in the night. Who's going to get the jump here? The Dragon Knight starts it off. They get off the Ice Blast. It's on Universe. But in return, Arteezy will quickly get the dunk, bringing down the HF version after he's unloaded. And then TPD gets a beautiful ultimate. Oh, the Timber! With the punish coming in. Massive AoE damage. Cheeky and aggressive trying to turn this fight, but they've lost four. It might well be five. Aggressive. No more remnants. No way out. No surrender. EG. But you've got Shackle Shot. Uh, at level four, that lasts almost four seconds which is the latch time mm -hmm. and then there's again there's there's oh, cold misery. embrace he knows it's gonna be a really tough situation for him to get out of but he lays down the wall this is start one but he's still on top of burning he will be able to get this kill unless the ion shell takes him out no oh my he actually God. goes down to the double ion shells misery he's gonna try and walk away from this one but he gets glimpsed back he will go down by pilot die fy's just he blown everything and he's also got the help of weha coming in fy is not making out of this one alive power shot finishes him up they're just doing not enough damage. Are they going to win this game? Ember has buyback, but the other two heroes are dead for their duration. Envy shifting over. He wants to buy something to help him go for it. Oh, he sees some gems. There's a cheese. He gets oh, the cheese. He the cheese. What? A turtle Envy. Hello. Taking the tier four tower up next. And they're going to focus on the second protection. one. The glyph is going to go down. They're losing the up, up against Mega Creeps, pushing in through the side lanes. And it looks like Team Secret Team, it's not worth the attempt. They, they just do need have vision. the toss. If they can get the toss into the doom, that'll be a kill on Burning. He can't oh, get away. They catch him out now. The stun comes out. Burning is surely dead. The question is, can they get the deny? Super comes in, looks oh. for it, chasing down. Burning, come here, you. Oh, no. doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Misery actually walks away with the kill, and now he's trying to walk away with his life. But he doesn't have. Well, he actually pops the wand. He has enough for a TP out. The he starts calling. eating through some trees, getting some distance out. They're gonna see him at the last second, but Misery he oh, completes oh. his TP. He gets away scot-free! 
Second lane of Rax about to go down Fiji Gaming. They're trying to wait out the rest of the dead timers. Oh, that's what one. a they're the Echo Slam. Is that going to be enough? They take out the Dazzle. Weihong's very low as well. Did he commit to the kill? He gets the deny. Weihong commits suicide. What the hell? To stick inside the Roshan pit for too long and let mm -hmm. Fiji Gaming perhaps find an opening. Smedallion's on the way. Uh, there's actually a lot of items on the way. Orchid's finished on Invoker. 14 minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh, got denied by the Lycan Wolf. Super! That could have just been <laughs> such a big play. Denying that Aegis away from Team Secret may... It's a draw ranger. It's almost like the same story like a Spectre. You need to keep that support up. Middle lane, God. Well, he's in real trouble. The double damage. S4 will get the last attack. Actually, no pain. He denies him up, but now S4. They turn it around. FNG finds it only one, but he can go for a second. The space away from Nux. Nux is actually dying to that nightmare, but he will not go the whole way. And this is a really bad sign because once he completes that heart, then we can start talking about things like that butterfly from earlier, and that's going to be even more effective when you when you've had that just raw increase in HP. That HP is going to be so much, and, and Beachy Gaming immediately gets ready to fight. The reason they couldn't win that last one was no Ravage, but they will have the setup here. Yeah, the Ravage on it too here. Eternal Up is going to be controlled up oh, immediately. No now the Winter's Curse. Eternal Up, he has everything blown on him, but somehow he's still alive, but he will go down eventually. Beachy Gaming going to look for more. Secret, they had a response with Pylite. It looks like he'll be able to get out. And they didn't get Glimmer caped up. Sentry has been dropped here, so they will spot the fact that G's moving in here. In fact, the double Sentry oh, strat here. Oh, there we go. They're going to throw the Ice Blast out. G's oh, there's all. He's going to land on top of the Red Green. Miracle with the timing, using g Jules against him. He looks for more triple kill for Miracle. It might even be an Ultra. It fights Phobos. Ultra kill for the Shadow Feed. 8,000 matchmaking rating. The team fight potential is there. Uh, Hoji are coming really far down. I don't know if they're going to expect this. And he's going to check out the tree line. Oh, the ice bomb! The back the you. combo with the Jakira and the damage is there. Illidan with a flat cannon. They're all fully global. They got the grave off onto No Tail. They try to fight back. Miracle pops down the mana void, but they've already lost two OG. They're going to lose three crits of fall as well. They've caught Miracle in the second ice bomb. It breaks onto G trying to fight with the light strike. Miracle goes down as well. He has got the Aegis, but what a fantastic smoke from VP, and they should be able to fight. The snowball's on him before he blinks, follows him across. They don't, they're going to get Miracle. Oh, he misses the stun. No, no, Miracle. No, is he going to live? No, uh, Miracle. Oh, uh, no. Miracle. Needs another one. Oh, is he going to live? Is he going to live? Oh. Is he going to live? No. Oh, my goodness. The vacuum misses. Miracle. Oh, Phobos. One, one more. One more Miracle. Oh, my God. Miracle. <sighs> he He's stays gone. alive. All right, all right. <laughs> because Aggressive has no aura, and now they start losing their armor as well. Roshan, like, he is slowly ticking out. Maybe they will get here in time. Moon's ready to jump. The Dire Observer would let them see everything in CDEC. Now they're finally D-Wars now, but in comes Miracle. They go for the jump kill by the Dire. Picked up by Atmospheric. Moon, the Shadow Grave will keep him alive as well. Beach is keeping silence throughout the field. There's no global silence. There's no extra control. There will be the Sun finally coming out from Aggressive. But what have you really lost? Absolutely nothing for OG. You burn the Aegis Team. Model on XD. Searing chains are on cooldown for the moment. That's what allowed him to survive. Aggressive, though, will not be so lucky. He'll doom over a miracle, but the support's arrived. It's no tell. Did he see that? Because their losses. Aggressive, you are that loss. That was a pretty believable movement with the illusion. <laughs> Lincolning it, healing it. It's the bait. Oh, oh they both under the tier four tower. Is he going so far, so fast? And now they lock in Shiki. They keep the ensnare up. And no tail copying a hell of a lot of damage. He still needs his ad spray in the global styles. Stops kind of everything but Chris. He stops even more aggressive kind of attack. This should be the game right now with OG. They have pinched the tent. They have planted the flag. And they own C to EC. And EG, they're going to contest. They don't have the echo for this, though. This is a big spell to be missing. But the march stacks up. The tombstones on the high ground blitz. It's so hard to fight into this this one. Fear's gonna have to TP out, but Moon's there to cancel it. Another grab, but to be fair, the tomb is already down. That's the most oh, important Ice Shards are locking out Arkeezy, though. He wasting a lot of his God Strength timing. Is getting caught out now. The call out's coming in. They're gonna re-engage with Sumail. He's on the high ground, but he's gonna get scouted out. He applies. Gets off the curse. Now the embrace. They're gonna beat down Sumail and Moon again! He does it! The Radiant get the kill. They grab the Aegis. It's Grand Theft here by OG. So, oh, no, this is not it's, friends right now, I think. Is this going to start already? OG bring all five players down into the Radiant Jungle, and they'll read the cross on Moon. Support's behind Moon. He has to protect himself inside that snowball. Eternal Envy dropping very, very low. Will he die with a toss-up? Envy's down! Pio gets the kill, but a huge grab from Misery! Misery's trying to get out with 
Twilight Knight, or G. There's so much damage being applied to Team Secret. A double kill for No Tail. They want to go for more. Twilight Knight throwing No Tail away, but he'll just switch his target over to Puppy, who's pushed Crit into a corner with the shot. Puppy will grab a double kill for Team Secret. We're heating up here in Grand Final Game 1. May not be over just yet. We have Blink's coming off cooldown. No tail, not a lot left. And now give him maneuverability with a toss forward. Blink's still available. No tail's dropping low. The runes are only now just going to spawn. But no tail, the attack we have missed up hill once. Can he actually miss it a second time? No tail, salving up. Up into the secret shot. The attack from we have at least cancel the salve. But OG are already playing sustain mode, so... They're coming. They find an opening. It's going to be over on Moon with the Fiend Strip being committed. What have they got left? Amplification stolen by Crit, but Moon is still going to go down on Willy. He walks away with 500 life. The Brew Monster Split's gone. This is the last hurrah right now for Team Secret. What have they got? Probably not enough misery back in. Just walking towards his death. And the Doom on Envy. Crit spins in front of him as he picks him up, throwing Envy back. The Shallow Grave will buy a little bit of time, but only a little bit. The Doom, it won't ensure the kill. Envy getting a big heal bomb and Moon keeps trying to fight Envy back into the spin but it's a double kill for Crit the Ruben going to work Puppy's on the retreat but there are so many OG heroes behind him all five of them the Shallow Grave again buying time for Secret to buy back two heroes to Coction flying forward keeps Moon now at the fight but again they lose the Dazzle We has as a spray it's making it so OG think twice about coming in, but they thought about it, and now they're coming in. The mid lane, OG staring down the barrel of Megas and Team Secret. They don't have the men to fight this. Stolen concoction. Another stun to be given to OG. And he's already prepping it. Blink forward, looking towards Envy. If he can just at least fade out the spin, that's going to be worth it. And there it is. 18 seconds without spin. Miracle just beating into that melee Rex, and now he actually steals spin as well. You can take a little bit of the damage off and a blank three man crush. Envy looking for the damage fall off, but the concoction is going to be there. How much have they got? Misery lost half him away. We are there's your Requiem from Miracle with the rages combined. Secret, they've taken too much damage. OG have got it. They've got the TG out from Secret. OG, they fight all the way through the lower bracket and will be clean the champions of the first ever Dota 2 Major live here in Frankfurt. A huge run, the dream run. Achieving what no other team has done. And no other team will probably achieve for a very long time. A much deserved title, the dream final. And they thank their audience. The crowd here have been behind them the whole way. OG, they are the champions. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, your Dota 2 champions, Team OG! All right, gentlemen, let me get in here in the middle. I actually, before I talk to Captain Tal of OG, I have one question for one gentleman I have not yet spoken to yet. Miracle, 
One easy question for you. What sounds better? 8,000 matchmaking points or 1.1 million dollars, my man? I guess everybody knows, uh, knows the answer. <laughs> Congratulations. Tal, I gotta ask you, how was your grand final experience and what is it like to be able to take down such huge titans like Team Secret? It was so amazing. Uh, Secret played really good and I don't know, they're such a good team and I'm really proud that we could beat them. It feels so damn good, I don't know, man. Now you obviously have very many tons of supporters here live and people watching from home. What do you got to say to all of them? Thanks to all the fans who came out here and support us and cheer for us. You made this all happen. It's so amazing. We come out, we're winning and everyone's cheering. Oh gee, there's nothing better than that.